morning, I'm David Pengeli and today I'm working on my Jaguar E-Type Series 2. It's a six cylinder model so uh, I want to show you how to change the brake discs and the brake calipers on the back of this car. It's exactly the same really for a Series 1 or a Series 2. The Series 1 had either Dunlop disc brakes which were also mounted in board here next to the differential or the later 4.2 because I think went to the girling brakes and my series 2 has got a girling caliper on those disc, disc brakes so here you can see the old one as you can see looking at this the uh, rear suspension is currently upside down on two blocks of wood but there's the caliper it's poking out the side and uh, just above that you can't see it but on the top is the handbrake mechanism that you also have to dismantle and take out of the way and then uh, once you've pulled the caliper out out through the uh, the cage you can also remove and exchange the disc brake so here's one that I've just done I put the disc brake on there and then I'm going to send off this caliper and have it fully refurbished so it's actually an exchange unit that comes back has new seals they check the pistons check for any corrosion and then I'm going to put all new pipes on it right back to the union I'm going to clean that up and then I'm going to put a new flexi from there back to the body and uh, here's the, old, the end of the old flexi so I'm going to rejuvenate all of the brakes yeah I'm going to have a look at the handbrake as well so that's what we're going to do today nice sunny day so we can see very easily what's going on here there's plenty of light and the reason I'm doing this is because it is not covered in the manual it just doesn't really tell you in sufficient detail how to do this it's quite a difficult job each part of it might be simple but working out how all the little operations go one after the other is, is quite difficult so I'm going to show you very simply how to change this disc brake and um, you'll notice first of all that the cage is very greasy and oily so you're going to need a dust sheet down otherwise you're going to get everything dirty it's also very very heavy there's no chance of lifting this probably even with two people so be careful I can roll it around rock it onto these pieces of wood on my own and then put it back onto the jack and put it under the car so be very careful with that otherwise you're going to have a bad back so the first job here is the drive shaft on this side is coming along to this yoke there's a UJ there and there are four bolts attaching that through the disc to the flange on the differential and you've got to get a spanner in there and you've got to remove those four bolts ready to undo the first bolt there are there are four of them on the flange and they are 11 sixteenths of an inch bolts so here's my 11 sixteenths of an inch ring spanner which fits on there very nicely because of course you've got to be super careful not to burn these over and because they're big nuts and they're on the drivetrain they have a high torque on there so they're, they're not easy to undo and this one the first one I happen to come by is in line with the grease nipple what that means is I cannot put a socket on there so I'm going to use this spanner and you can see it's properly on that nut and difficult for me to do this one-handed but I can use the hammer and tap it down to break break the uh, break the nut yeah break the break the seal on the nut so um, that's that one loosened off now I'm going to do the other three with the socket <laughs> 